at Holster Creek Reds. I got a new layout. I'm gonna show you guys six holes and why I think this bolt, Eagle should bag this bolt. It is a 8.5, negative 0.5 turn, and a fade of two. We're starting on hole two. I'm gonna choose what holes I would usually throw this disc on. This is 250 feet through this gap, but I'm gonna go over the trees with the forehand and let it crash down near the basket. I heard it hit ground. I don't know where the heck it is, so we'll have to see. All right, if you didn't know, you do now. I putt lefty, so if I miss this putt, this will be probably one of my worst putts of the day. Okay, that was a little bit high. Starting good, one down through one. All right, 440 par four. This hole is four. hole four of the red layout, hole two for me. Le left OB, right OB, but I don't think that should come in play. This is a really good hole to show you what this thing can do on some power. That should be easy up and down. Maybe not anybody else, but for pro players, it's going to be really straight to stable. Um, like I threw it pretty hard and it still dumped out. All right, why I think Eagle should bag this disc is for one, like I said, just super reliably stable. And he likes to hit that disc on really hard flat and it'll go straight and have a little bit of fade. I know what you guys think. I feel like any disc that I have thrown or reviewed from Axiom, Streamline, MVP are just so solid. They got it going on over there. So I see why he moved over to MVP. All right, not bad. Two down through two. Hole five of the actual course, hole three of my video. Through this gap to the right. The par four, I see why it's a par four because I don't think you can get there even with like a turnover to the left of these trees. It's gonna go a little forehand out the gap and let it cut. That's the plan. Gosh, that last that one little twig just got me, and I'm now I'm in terrible position. I've actually found a gap. I've never played this layout before, so I was uh, tripping earlier. I'm gonna go glitch here and try to get a, get a putt down there. Uh, got a little tested. OB behind the basket, so I gotta make it. Let's go. Still perfect. Maybe you could shoot perfect. I'll probably jinx myself now that I said that. All right, hole four of the video. It's down on this little, little peninsula island. Water OB right, but shouldn't be in play for this disc. 260. Go with a little sand grip hyzer. Way a million feet short. Got a brain look to be perfect. Got this to the basket. Keep calm, buddy. That video just got too lazy with it, so we're not perfect through four. Last two holes. Coolest hole in the course. OB right with the pond and then on this little mound. Um, you yeah, can turn it over. And then come back. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go all. I'm gonna go for the basket, straight headwind. So I'm gonna have to hit it flat and turn. I just have to wait for these people to walk. Wow. I just freaking barked it. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if you can freaking see it. But that's why that disc is so good. I threw it pretty hard on Annie and it turned and faded out. Holy crap. I don't, this doesn't tell you to get a bolt. I don't know what it does.
Uh, that's all the day, 260. I think I'm just gonna go to the forehand guy, see if we can get up there. Shoot perfect through six. No freaking way. This disc is so good. If Eagle doesn't bag it, I won't be upset, but I'll kind of be upset. I'm, I would bag it, but my Wrath replaces this disc um, for that stable nine, eight speed slot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.